I'm not voting for the woman who's been twice investigated by the FBI, who's lied under oath, who's had over 33,000 emails mysteriously deleted, and who says that the majority of Americans are a basket full of deplorables. You can put half of Trump supporters into what I call the basket of deplorables. <laughs> who states children don't have constitutional rights. What point does someone have constitutional rights? And are you saying that a child on its due date, just hours before delivery, still has no constitutional rights? Under our law, that is the case, um, Paula. Who says religious Christians need to get on with the times and change their beliefs. And perhaps most challenging issue arises when people cite religious or cultural values as a reason to violate or not to protect the human rights of LGBT citizens. And deep-seated cultural codes, religious beliefs, and structural biases have to be changed. You know, I need a leader who's going to go back to the Constitution. And the Constitution says this, that I have the right to defend myself. I also have the right to believe whatever religion I want. And my religious freedoms are protected. And I also have the right to live. Now, it's interesting that Hillary Clinton comes against each one of these things. At the same time, people who are slamming planes into buildings, who are committing jihad in the name of Allah, and who declare war on the great Satan, America, and our ally, Israel, well, we can't call them terrorists because they're Muslims. But we sure can call Christians who refuse to bow down to secularism deplorable. See, that's hypocritical. You know what's also hypocritical? Most people getting all their information from the biased liberal media of the day. You know, the media that says Trump is a misogynist, hateful, racist bigot. Well, you know what? Trump's been right on many things. Remember how everybody said Trump wants to deport everybody? Guess what? Obama's deported more people than any other president in the history of the United States. You don't hear that, do you? What about the disabled reporter? How terrible was that, right? You know, that whole cover-up story was about this. Trump said during 9-11, he saw people cheering when the buildings went down. Well, guess what? That reporter, who at that time was writing for the Washington Post, Sergei Kovaleski wrote, In Jersey City, within hours of two jetliners plowing into the World Trade Center, law enforcement authorities detained and questioned a number of people who were allegedly seen celebrating attacks and holding tailgate style parties on rooftops while they watched the devastation on the other side of the river. Then 15 years later, they decide to run a bogus fact check article and say, oh, we never wrote that or at all. Too bad Trump finds the original reporter who did write it and then suddenly has amnesia and says, oh, I, I, I can't remember writing that. So Trump does his famous arm gesture. The word regulated. Oh. And they said to him, what do you think about ISIS? Oh, ISIS is very tough. They said, Senator Cruz, what do you think of waterboarding? Oh, I don't want to talk about it. You know, he didn't. And what goes viral? Not the fact that we were attacked and people cheered, but the fact that somehow Trump made fun of a disabled person. And how terrible is that? Except he used that same arm gesture for Ted Cruz. Continuing on, Trump was right about TPP and Hillary calling it the gold standard. You called it the gold uh, I standard. About, well, I hope You called I, it the gold standard of trade and, deals. You, you know said what? it's the finest deal you've ever seen. No. And then you heard what I said about it, and all of a sudden you were against it. Well, Donald, I know you live in your own reality, but oh, yeah. that is not the fact. Through agreements like the Trans-Pacific Partnership, or TPP, Australia is a critical partner. This TPP sets the gold standard in trade agreements to open, free, transparent, fair trade. Trump was right when he claimed Hillary received information regarding the questions during the debate. Remember Donna Brazil? Yeah, even the Democratic Party is backpedaling far from her. Sounds like even Slade agrees with me. We should drain the swamp. Remember when Trump said Wiener had access to Hillary's emails? and everybody scorned him. Pretty interesting that during the second FBI investigation that came about because of Wiener's connection to Hillary. Just saying. Remember when Trump said Hillary cheated Bernie out of the nomination? Yeah, then WikiLeaks confirmed that. You know, I'm just saying Trump's been right on the issues and I'm voting for the issues. You know, Hillary wants partial birth abortion. 
Even the Democratic Party has distanced itself from Hillary regarding that. Hillary wants to take away your religious freedoms. Hillary wants to take away your Second Amendment rights. Hillary lied about Benghazi. Hillary can't even keep our national security secure. If you're so upset about some words that Trump said 11 years ago, that was lewd, that was wrong, that he did apologize for, if you're so upset about it, then how come you're not upset about Fifty Shades of Grey or the incredible lewdness on today's TV shows, even family TV shows? How come you're not upset about pornography being infiltrated in our culture and society, even to our young kids. You see, that's hypocrisy. Vote your conscience. But the problem is some of you've lost your conscience a long time ago. That's why I'm going to my voter guide, the Bible. Let me tell you something. The Bible defines every situation, every ethical, every moral argument we're facing as America. Number one, we've forgotten our first love. We've forgotten God. We've been more concerned about offending people rather than offending God. We've forgotten God in our nation. So it's time we turn back to God. And then when we turn back to God, we turn back to his word and we start seeing things like, hmm, he established marriage. God defined marriage between one man, one woman for life. God defined the family. God defined sex, male and female. God defined life. Who are we to play God and say, you know what, if a baby's not wanted, if a mother decides she doesn't want it, then she should be able to abort it. Even late term abortions like Hillary wants. Really? We have 60 million babies aborted since Roe v. Wade. We have built our nation on the backs of babies' bones. I'm not talking about a woman's body. I believe women have rights, I believe men have rights, and I believe babies have rights. That's the issue. That's what our constitution protects. Oh, they're a fetus. Yeah, fetus is Latin for unborn baby. So just use English, please. I'm sick and tired of the murder of our innocent lives. I'm sick of it. I'm not voting for a woman who has no regard to the sanctity of life. She can say how terrible some words Trump said were, but yet she murders life and she doesn't repent from it. Christians, you need to be discerning. It's time for you to read your Bible, wake up, vote properly tomorrow and yes if you're going to vote for a woman who believes in butchering our children then you're committing sin i'm voting for trump because he's pro-life he's pro-israel he's pro the constitution he protects my religious freedoms he's coming against the johnson amendment look whatever happens tomorrow we need to pray we need to pray for our country and we, do, we need to be active more than just once every four years because we're going to continue to lose ground if we're like that. See, that's the typical Christian, only waking up out of a deep slumber when it sort of counts and then going back to sleep. You know what Jesus said, be salt and light of the earth. But one thing God does not want us doing is slumbering. And let's make America great again through prayer, through fasting, through supplication, and through obeying Jesus Christ.